Are your drawings looking flat and unrealistic? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you one powerful technique that will improve your drawings. Using light and shadow the right way will bring your flat drawings to life. So grab a pencil and a piece of paper and let's get started. First, we're going to begin with a light touch using a pencil to create a base layer. And what I like to do is start out with creating the shape of the drawing first and then start adding in the details a little bit later. So let's begin with that. And just a quick tip, when making a circle, if you move your whole arm instead of just your wrist, it's a lot easier to get a nice round circle. So what I'm doing is making little markers where I believe the top of the pumpkin is and where the top of the stem is, and we'll work from there. And next, I'm going to add more shapes just to kind of get the right size of all the details. For example, on this pumpkin, there's multiple round spots. So I'm going to make a bunch of ovals. Okay, now that we have the basic shape figured out, let's go ahead and start adding some of the uh, shading details. So first we wanna figure out where is the light coming from? If you look at the picture and you see the brightest spots of the pumpkin, you'll notice the light is coming from here. We have a highlight here here, here, and our darkest shadows are here, here. So what we're doing is identifying where the light is hitting it and where it is casting shadows. So the idea is pretty simple, light and shadow. I'm going to draw the shadows in first. I'm going to hold my pencil like this and lightly go over the shadow areas just to get them marked in so I know where they are. And I have my pencil at a tilt so that I can fill in more of the paper faster because if I'm Putting it down straight like this, I'm only using the tip. As you're drawing this, don't look at the pumpkin. Look at the dark shadows and the highlights. So ignore that it's an object, a pumpkin, and just focus on the dark spots and the light spots. Already we can see that the pumpkin is taking shape. I'm going to use a 4B here, it's a bit softer pencil so it gets a darker result. And you'll notice I'm not going to the edge of what I created before, I'm staying in the center so that we can have a slight gradient into the lighter areas. And you'll notice on the picture, 
at the bottom here, it gets a little bit brighter because of the reflection of the light hitting the ground and bouncing back up. We can see how the shape is forming already and we haven't really added a lot of the details to it. Next I have a 6B, it's pretty dark and I'm just going to get the darker areas a little more defined. When you put a darker shadow right next to the highlight, it really makes that depth and roundness. And so that's, that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Some other techniques we can do, you can see we have our dark shadow here and we're gonna have a little highlight here. And you can use blending tools. Uh, you can go back over with a lighter pencil, like a HB. I have here HB and just kind of smooth that out a little bit help that gradient be a little more obvious Also, when I'm putting a layer of pencil down, I'm not pressing real hard. I'm just lightly doing it. Because if I press real hard, it's a lot harder to go back and erase and try to fix. It's a lot easier to just add more to it. So don't press so hard. Sometimes I use a blending uh, stump to be able to smooth out the transitions. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you want more information, 
please follow the links down below and I hope to see you in the next video.